I had my way, I would say that I would like to talk but you see, yeah, I need to relax. It's still in the morning. <laughs> what five four Facebook at Y254 channel on Twitter hashtag is Y in the morning or Queen's Wednesday. And oh my goodness, I do not know how I allowed this morning to start without me making an announcement. And I'll make it very quick. So congratulations, yay, to the Grammy Award winners. And one of them being Coffee, the making artist who won, I think, the best reggae album. And she's the first female and the youngest ever ever Jamaican I think yeah to win such an award so she's 19 and she's doing phenomenal things and we had Angelique Kijo if I'm not wrong uh, she won an award and also dedicated it to Burner Boy so shout out Burner Boy you didn't win but you got nominated which I think is still just as amazing so woo! yay congratulations everybody but now that we come back to Y254 in particular Y in the morning we are going to be talking about falling in love now maybe I think it's my falling because falling is in the I'm not too sure if it's the right phrase, but we'll get to that in a bit. But help me say hello to my guest. How are you, Nick? Hi. Apana. Hi. Hi. There we go. Did you join the choir? Hey, you may sound All right, let's start over here. How are you, mommy? I'm fine, thank you. I like the orange. <laughs> What's your good name? <laughs> okay, my name is Terry Mwangangi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm happy to be here today. We're glad to have you. Thank you. Hi, dear lad. Hi. How are you? Good. I like your denim and denim. Thank you. Now, you said in Zango to Sumbuan. All right, so we have Joanne, and we have a very, very, very new gentleman in the house. First of all, I feel intimidated because it's Queen's Wednesday and I'm, and oh. I'm, I'm a man, so I'm wondering whether I'm in, uh, no, no, out of no, place. No, 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 Here you should feel nothing but love. Great. Nothing but affection. Great. We um, care for the boy child. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that's so comforting. <laughs> yeah. And when I'm seeing any names, if any can buy us. Okay. What's your good name? I'm Phil Bataganyo. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I'm an ambassador with the youth lead. Mm -hmm. Yes. You're so composed, I feel like I should call you sir. Do I have to call you sir? No, 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 please. Sure? I am, I'm, I'm, I'm a young person. Yeah? I'm, I'm, I'm still, I still got like three more years to pass the youth age, so ah, I'm but we'll very be, much within the youth We'll be bracket. moving it, we'll be moving it. That's even better. To around 40, maybe. Yeah. That's even better. Life begins here. at 40. Yeah, they keep telling us. So, at a youth and a fuck, we're 40, isn't it? Absolutely. Okay, but <laughs> we'll discuss these other <laughs> deliberations later Thank in the you. course of the day. But today we're talking about falling in love. Aya! Oh, so at our Facebook, Michelle Muka, and I'm Corrida. Oh my gosh. White Five on Facebook, White Five for channel, Twitter hashtag is one in the morning. So maybe we can start this backwards. And this is actually very good for you. So you can get to see how the audience is reacting. And then maybe we can work backwards from that and trying to figure out do we really know what love is? is? All right. So we have a man, James says, Love is beautiful. It's yummy. Hey, wow. Uh huh. He continues to say, Love is Lord. Amen. I feel like preaching. <laughs> They already hear people fall. What? Look at you. Good morning, Evan James. Miguel Strapper says, Where? You're in Gori. Say to the divorce. Divorce dinner. Samuel Gugu says, Kayole Naivasha tuned. As you continue, remember, you can use any hashtag you want. Hashtag Queen's Wednesday. Hashtag Go in the Morning. We have a Rashid Demore. In love, Ndio Kusema Nini. Enlighten me, please. Ah, yeah. Okay. Lame, lame. Ooh. Yes, <laughs> I do not pronounce that. Of course, I'm in love, but it's a very big story. I can't finish, but I can't finish now. But what can I say is that love always cares. I always care for him, but I don't want to hurt him ever. Mkekayacho, wow, handle manze. Loving for someone, daughter. She will need a lot. Yenye sita weza. We'll end up breaking up. Atastaki, ash acha ni yos. Eh, nikae kisoro. Wow. CW Mtapeli says, We yo jina love ni chiki sana, ni jina kubwa sana. Me ain't in love with nobody. I just love myself, my parents, the uh, clan. All right, I see you. No, me tisha request, me tisha wena. Sly Kaveza. Hello. Good morning to you. Lauren, Lorraine, sorry, Immaculate. Nono hu mwaka wa mbao mbao nilisare singleness. Loved. Nani mpenda pia. Hey, 
Hey, sasa ona mtu mingina anayekea pressure. Hashtag Valati Wedding in a Cam na Sita Fadhali. Louis Morio. Morio. Oh yes, I'm in it. I'm in love. It happened when we were in a lecture hall and her phone rang. The lecture got annoyed and carried her phone away because being the class rep, I had to intercede on her behalf. Hey, hero! And since I was in good terms with the lecture, she was given it back. After a week, kaboom! The rest is history. I'm planning the wedding and the lecture will be the MC. <laughs> hey, sorry, sorry. Miss Eva Berbatov says, I'm not in love and nothing happened. What I'm into is caring and being responsible for as not to hurt anyone's feelings. There is nothing like love, it's just lust and illustrations too. 22 represented Vala. See you, Miss Eva. Hmm. There's a lot going on. First of all, at least we've all covered that love is a big word. I don't know if you guys know, and I'm, I don't mean this out of malice, but I'm Nigeria. Those very aggressive ones, and they just want to talk to you by force, whether you want to talk to them or not. It's usually, hi, I love you. <laughs> As in, it's on your salam. Hi, I love you. <laughs> hey, what do you want? Come be my baby. I'll give you anything. Why are some guys like that? Is it their culture? Or are they just want to skip very fast to what they think we want to hear? What do you think, sir? Uh, I would say it's... Uh I wouldn't want to blame them. Mm -hmm. You know, th we are brought up differently. Mm -hmm. People come from different backgrounds. But the men, mm -hmm. the society has cultured most men in a way that uh, they are supposed to, to, to take charge. Mm -hmm. Let me draw a little bit uh, more from nature. You know, if we look at the nature mm -hmm. all over, the, ma uh, the, male, the male species is given uh, prominence. If mm -hmm. you look at the, let's, let's look at the birds. Some of the most attractive uh, birds are the are the males. Look at a cock. Wow. The, the reason why it's it's, it's <laughs> like that is so that it can attract females. Uh -huh. So unfortunately, uh, the when it, when we come to the humans, mm -hmm. uh, the male species, or, or rather, let me say just uh, male, uh, mm -hmm. the, the, the male gender, they mm -hmm. always want the women to be attracted to them. Mm -hmm. So so much so that you don't notice. Mm -hmm. The first thing I want to tell you is, hey. I'm here. Mm -hmm. Can't you see me? Mm -hmm. Or they feel like they have this kind of uh, a sense of entitlement mm -hmm. that I just want to come to you and tell you, hey, you know what? Mm -hmm. I love you and you're supposed to respond. Well, well that's what I think. Uh -huh. And the upbringing is different. Uh -huh. But to guys who've been cultured properly, mm -hmm. who've been brought up well, mm -hmm. well, respect is mutual. Mm -hmm. So I need to respect you before you, before I can even tell you that I love you. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have to show me some signs that, hey, mm -hmm. okay, you are somebody who's worthy my, you know, my checking out. I see. Yeah. So My ladies, I'm, I'm going to give you individual questions and then Philbert is going to come in and then give his five cents, okay? Well, we're good. Because these questions are tailor-made for ladies who might assume they're in love. So how do you know when you're in love, Tanzania and Jerry? How do you know you're in love? Nitumbo inanza kuyeyuka, mama unanza kukonda konda of your view. Unakia tu kuna kagas, fulani unatika kutoki, una nani? Hey, how do you know you're in love? Okay, I would say, uh, first you have sleepless nights, you think a lot, mm -hmm. um, yeah, appetite goes off, mm -hmm. Ew, I can't and then sleep. I can't <laughs> eat. Uh -huh. you feel like talking to the person every time, mm -hmm. yes. You would talk to me, Joan, how do you, how do you know when you're in love? Okay, I know when I'm in love, mm -hmm. when... When I see the, the message or the, the number of the person maybe calling mm -hmm. or a message, so... Yeah, you start, you start smiling. Mm -hmm. You find yourself doing something and your mind pops to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that that's how I, I start feeling th there is something. Is there something wrong with me, Phil? But because up of I'm not sleeping, not eating, it can't be me. <laughs> It cannot be me. I don't know. Maybe it's the place I've reached in my life. You, I am aware. Mm. Eh, emotions has done the peer end. So I can't make coffee. I'm not going I'm in love. And you know, I know in the back of my mind there are more important things in life. So ataka kuna ioka. He looks nice, but me angu hai takuapa itakumaliuko. Is there something wrong with me? Maybe you're not a lady. Ah, <laughs> take that back. <laughs> oh. Maybe you're not a lady because. Every lady uh, who's been, who, who feels like a lady, mm -hmm. should ideally feel something. Hi. 
because usually, mm-hmm. okay, not usually, mm-hmm. from... Mnani judge. Mnani judge. Mnani judge. Mnani judge. Mnani judge. In nature, mm-hmm. uh, ladies are usually attracted to the males. Mm-hmm. That is how it has been. That is the law of nature. Mm-hmm. Look at the lion. Kandalia Sima Vile Yuko. You know, the, the lionesses, the, the females will definitely be attracted to, mm-hmm. you know, to the male. And all over we've seen that happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I would say, when you come to ski hivo, then probably... Okay, let me take that back, that mm. you're not, you're not no, a lady. No, you are no a lady. pressure, no <laughs> pressure. I have the body parts of a lady, so <laughs> I am convinced I'm one. <laughs> yes, you are. Mm-hmm. But you know, feelings are different. Mm-hmm. Uh, from the inside, uh, maybe there's just a, an, an orientation that is not... Uh, like short I said, like mm. I said, okay, see short. Mm. She's not into it. Yes, you're not into it because of your orientation, the, the environment yeah. that is around you. Uh-huh. And but then sometimes it's not even, it, it happens without you knowing. Mm-hmm. Maybe the people you hang around, probably you hang around uh, men most of the times, mm-hmm. and there's just some things that are not, that are not, uh, they're not just in you. You don't feel it. Mm-hmm. But, Vile uh, Nzongo Mesema, when you're in love, you will feel something different. S- somebody described love in a very funny way. Mm-hmm. That love is a feeling that you feel mm-hmm. when you feel a feeling that feels like, you know, kitu elewi, a feeling, kitu elewi. Like, you know, naisikia tu yikutu hapo mahali. So, you know, when you go by that, you'll definitely realize that ladies usually have a way that they feel. I'm not exonerating men. Mm-hmm. Most men sometimes don't even realize that they're in love until the lady's like, smack in your face <laughs> ask ask how, how you know a guy is in love with you be quick uh-huh. yeah so how do you know mm-hmm. yeah how do you notice for a man mm-hmm. uh i would say it takes time let me give my own personal experience yes uh i'm a married man mm-hmm. I, I i i i started dating my 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 wife when we were in campus mm-hmm. and uh for like three years we were just friends mm-hmm. she is somebody that i was uh, I was helping. She mm-hmm. was emotionally low, mm-hmm. and uh, we first of all met in a friend's room. She had actually come to seek for help from from my roommate, mm-hmm. who, uh, uh, who was like her father mm-hmm. in campus. Mm-hmm. And then I saw her, and I saw a troubled person. So badia badia ukuongeongea. In fact, she wasn't even given the time because mm-hmm. this guy was very busy mm-hmm. uh, doing some other some of his other assignments. So I felt like she wasn't given the much attention that she needed. Nani kamfuata badia hiyo? Mm. really what was the issue because I saw in her face that she was troubled. Uh, and just her out of curiosity, I'm yes. so sorry for interrupting, mm. but was that f- initial reaction of yours to go check on her? You just wanted to help. No, and you can answer honestly, we won't <laughs> judge. I'm being very honest. Mm. Naturally, but like I told you, it's, out, it, it's upbringing. Personally, mm. I was brought up in the church and mm. I was given some, uh, some lessons on generally just being good. Mm. I believe when you're being nice to somebody, it doesn't have to be like uh, payback, as in a transactional mm-hmm. kind of uh, yeah, see, like relationship. Yeah. Yeah. You can yeah, just be a yeah. friendly person. I wish she was here. Mm-hmm. Uh, she would have given that testimony. Mm-hmm. I simply followed her. Mm-hmm. I think now I think now I think now And true to my word, mm-hmm. she was troubled. Mm-hmm. When she told me her story, I realized that she had all, she she she, she had struggled so much with her emotions, mm-hmm. overcoming. A lot of uh, anger in her childhood. So when it Kitabu, there's a book that uh, I read myself. Maybe I, I used to struggle with with, with anger. Mm-hmm. So when I was given that book, it helped me, and then I gave it to her, and from that time we just became friends. Mm-hmm. She knew I was dating. Actually, yes, I was dating somebody. Na ah. mimi, mimi spendang you. Plot twist. Eh? You 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 fisi. Na nikamwambia, this mm-hmm. is my girlfriend and uh, Ivo Ivo. But then, uh, I didn't. I mean, mm. I didn't know that we were like a love relationship was developing until story. Mm. sometime mm-hmm. three years later. Okay. I, yes. Now you see. We are running out of time, but I will, I'm sure we will come back to that story. Yeah. We are coming back. All right. Give me the next side. And then you at home, do like you and give us your five cents on our platforms at White Five on Facebook, White Five for channel on Twitter. Hashtag is what in the morning. How do you last in love? And this is important because I feel this question here in Mesumbo's channel, because you, you're in love, you tell yourself you're in love or you believe you're in love, and you are, you are feeling like the person is reciprocating, like, but how do you last in love? 
juu inaweza fika point wa boyeke uendelee which is fine okay ama ya boyeke aendelee lakini wewe utaki kumwacha na shabweka so how is it a must are we going to force men to be in relationships because we still want them ama it's okay to let go hmm. talk to me actually you can let go mm -hmm. but you know most ladies mm -hmm. they they think that love lasts according to how the man gives her the attention mm -hmm. so like she just needs the attention like because mm -hmm. I'm not chatting with friends, I need your text here. Mm -hmm. Then that time your man is busy doing something. So like, the ladies you have to look, you know, it, the, the attention you want. Mm -hmm. Attention is just, it's not that permanent. Mm -hmm. It can last for some time. So you have to look for someone who values you, mm -hmm. not just attention all the time. Mm -hmm. Everyone is busy, everyone is not on phone, everyone mm -hmm. is not on, babe, let's do this because they have other businesses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... I think that's why some people fall in love and it doesn't last and that goes to the ladies mostly. I've seen females trying to impose themselves in a guy's life. For example, unapenda feel bad. So now, unanza kuhang hang around plot yake ndo ujwe maneiba. Ukiona tu cousin yake hivi. Hi, I'm his girlfriend. Ukiona tu hivi na classmate. Upendi tu vaya na kaa. Umbe, hi, excuse me. I'm his girlfriend, yes. And you are... So is that something do you think that will make love last? Okay, I have a a friend story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then she told me, okay, you know they go to media, media they are mm -hmm. uh, trying to look what is going on. And then now so it happened this girl saw a picture mm -hmm. of a guy. Mm -hmm. It was in Instagram. Mm -hmm. And so the the girl started uh, checking out on checking out on his f on her phone mm -hmm. about this guy and so in the process of checking mm -hmm. she saw um it was kind of an advert the guy was doing mm -hmm. and then in that advert there was his number mm -hmm. so the girl took the number oh, yeah. and then mm -hmm. went to into the inbox mm -hmm. she inboxed uh, she inboxed the girl mm -hmm. the guy and then from then they started Okay, the girl had a crush on the guy. Wow. Would you do something like that? Um, it will depend. <laughs> I have two questions. Uh, first, I want you to give us your two cents on what they've both said. And then, uh, if the girl is the one doing the approaching versus the traditional guy coming up to you, does it last longer? Uh, first, let me, let me start by saying mm -hmm. uh, that... Uh, well, imposing imposing yourself on a guy does not necessarily mean that this guy is gonna love you, mm -hmm. you know. But sometimes it could be an eye opener to a guy, mm -hmm. especially one who's sleeping who does not want to see sense. Mm -hmm. uh, some <laughs> men just have to be slapped out of their slumber. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. but the, that's a smaller percentage. Mm -hmm. uh, first things first. I, I, I believe that we need to demystify the word falling in love because mm -hmm. it gives a negative connotation. Mm -hmm. When you fall in love, it means. Uh, personally, I don't. Uh, I don't agree with it. I would rather get into a relationship. Mm -hmm. In a relationship, it's something you build and you grow. Mm -hmm. You develop mutual likings. Mnajua, kama ujama na penda hivi na mipi na penda hivi, then probably this is something that's going to last. Mm -hmm. Now, lasting in a relationship does not only uh, go with the the commonalities. Mm -hmm. Uh, you have to develop something deeper. Mm -hmm. And that is why when you fall in love, falling is something sudden. Mm -hmm. So also it means when you're falling in love, it, is has, it has to be something sudden. Mm -hmm. Now what happens when you rise up? You realize that, oh, kumbe ilikuwa tu ni nini? Hatban. Uh, yes, hatban, ama jokes, ama mm -hmm. ni pengine ilikuwa nasikia tu funny. Mm -hmm. There's some people who say when they're drunk, mm -hmm. sorry to use this example, mm -hmm. but some people, when they're not sober, mm -hmm. then everything now becomes... Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. They even feel like they want to fall in love. Mm -hmm. That is why I'm saying when you get into a relationship, you are getting in there when you're conscious. Mm -hmm. So it's something that you develop over time. And you realize that, oh, okay, fine. I think this is somebody mm -hmm. we can go with for long. So lasting a relationship, the first, uh, the first uh, advice maybe, maybe I would want to give ladies is identify the common things that connect you guys together with mm -hmm. this person. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, it does, doesn't necessarily mean that when you impose yourself on him, mm -hmm. that he will he will love you or this uh, this thing will you know will last mm -hmm. or will grow. Mm -hmm. It is a progressive step by step process. Mm -hmm. So much so that Adam Kikosana mna rudiana na nini wote mna na sense yakufanya nini yakurudiana. I like that. Yes. I like that. 
But Dr. Benjamin Zulu once said that you uh, fall in love, your heart is giving you a lot and it's asking your brain for permission to continue. Do we proceed or do we fall back? Is that kind of what you've just said? I want to believe so. Yeah? Okay. So we talked about, no, we are going to talk about the love languages. Do you know what a love language is, Nianza? Before that, let me mm -hmm. ask him a question. Ask him. So, when you talk of love at first sight, and there is this love that you find you have a wrong number of a person, you've started talking, you've known each other just through the talking and conversation on phone. Between that and love at first sight, which one lasts long? Like, uh, I would say both have the potential to last long. Why? Because the general ingredient in all that is something called curiosity. Love at first sight, uh, there, are, there are cases that love at first sight uh, have prevailed. Cases of that have prevailed. Why? Because of curiosity. Mimi mm -hmm. uh, Monamme, I meet this new lady, and then somehow I'm curious. I want to know something about her. Mm -hmm. And she's also curious. She also feels the same thing. Mm -hmm. And then as a result, something grows. Mm -hmm. But the key word there is growth there has to be growth mm. i don't believe in negative growth growth has to be progressive mm. you move from one point to the next so at a common love at first sight mm -hmm. there has to be that progressive growth mm -hmm. ah, yeah. you talked about uh, what which one, what was the other one about talking on phone yes talking on phone maybe mm. wrong number or maybe put a wrong number still the common ingredient is curiosity mm -hmm. you're curious i'm curious what makes you tick mm -hmm. you know something like that so as we develop this kind of conversation we both realize that oh there's something interesting there's more to this face than meets uh, than my eye can see mm -hmm. and then like that we develop uh, a conversation okay. there has to be growth all right yes so, so i want to wrap up the conversation with the love languages and i think it's important to understand how your partner responds Cindy, love language need to even now women are mother sunny class <laughs> so love language need to oh, and if, if you just work with me, let's just slide. Woo! There was a mix up, brain cell one, brain cell two. I want to just go past the slides real quick. So, what is your love language? So, there's words of affirmation. Let me just say them out loud. There's words of affirmation. There is uh, receiving gifts, Nimona, physical touch quality time and one has passed me please give me the slides guys <laughs> give me give me slides please please no yes okay go 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 words of affirmation continue go hey why are you being like this so yes so some of the words of affirmation i love you so much you make me feel so loved you inspire me to be better i can't wait to see you again as we continue as we continue I love spending time with you. I love being yours. No one makes me happier than you. And then the second love language is acts of service. Small, small things. Acts of service. We have receiving gifts. The time is coming. The season is here. There's quality time. And there is physical touch. Thank you so very much, One the Morning Team, for helping me wrap that up real nice. So. Um, in conclusion, how do you think these love languages are beneficial? Now, let's come on. So, no, let's cut one now. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, Please make it. Let me start with mine. Uh -huh. Mine is uh, words of affirmation. Uh -huh. I love being appreciated. Uh -huh. And my wife knows that. Mm -hmm. if, you if I do something n nice and you appreciate me, it shows that you respect me. It shows that you feel me. That to me works. So the love languages, it's important that every young person understands uh, the love languages, so it, it helps in identifying the commonalities that you had me talking about. Hmm. Nikijua, this is what you what you prefer. Then I'll Nothing know exactly what to do mm. to do ex uh, to please you to catch your attention and all that. But the problem is most young people don't want to read. At mm. kusoma so ata to do love languages ni nini ukiuliza. Ask randomly. I, I, I'm sure so that's we are getting. So that's why is a part of the Mawili. Maybe Joanne Nateri. I love her part. Her love language is different from hers. Mm -hmm. Na kama ilewi love language ni nini ni kama moja kona kirere kulipo yeah. mwingines. That's what's happening. Miscommunication. Ama atashinda kiambi umingine. Uh -huh. The love language of this one. Uh -huh. They they end up. He gets up confusing the two. Uh -huh. Wanashikwa. You know things like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to. Sum up the Kenyo Melana Papa conversation in a sentence, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Kenyo Melana. Huh? So, 
Um, I'll go for the word affirmation mm. because when he tells you know the words, mm. the words mean a lot. Mm -hmm. But also actions speak, speak louder. louder than <laughs> you see. Uh -huh. So like the physical, how he gazes at me, mm -hmm. such things. Mm -hmm. So but words affirmation is a good thing because at least when he says it, I know it's from in Metokandani. Mm -hmm. mm. And for you, what's your love language? I support Joanne. Mm. Unam support nini? Love language ni yako. Hakuna support yana huku ni yako. It is your love language. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, I would say all of them, uh -huh. but not actually. They don't go in details. Uh -huh. Yeah. Maybe some once in a while. Uh -huh. Maybe others mostly. But now, that one for Joanna Formation now, uh, it's like always because, uh -huh. let's say, anything happens like when we break up mm -hmm. i'm not breaking up actually but maybe i've messed up or he has messed up mm -hmm. we can't sleep without making making things straight mm -hmm. yeah so we have to make things straight so that god when when he gives us another day Aww. we start it afresh with new You're things so sweet. yeah oh my god <laughs> Oh, now you even want me to wrap this up all over again, but we, we've just finished. So thank you, all of you, for tuning in and for giving your thoughts on the topic falling in love. <laughs> but I, I'd rather walk in. Can you walk in love instead of falling into it? Is, is it an option? I want to walk and see where I'm going. Still as money I'm okay. <laughs> Watch five four Facebook at Watch five four channel Twitter hashtag is Why in the morning or Queen's Wednesday. Thank you. We have a repeat from around two to four p.m. Keshoni Ilesikuya DJ Hanson. Hey DJ Hanson. Yeah. So you have an amazing day, and I have an amazing the rest of your week and weekend. I can see you. I can see you. You're not too far away. This is now where we wait. <laughs>